Hi there, Michelle from Snazzy Scrappin' and today I'm showing you our new Creator Card die set and it's our first one that we've done a shaped card and it's this lovely, beautiful little handbag die set. Okay, so your set comes like this and it's a nine die set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, they're easy to just manipulate to twist side by side. A little word of advice, make sure you um, look after this little one. Mine went missing a little bit after I made the first one, but wound up today stuck to my stamping foam. So I found it again. So um, I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So when I cut mine out, I put it through like this, so I taped it and just cut it straight out. So, um, but it is a good idea that if you're going to run it through, because if you don't tape it and it moves, you might end up with a double cut on your handle set. So it's designed that the folds are there. So it has this little V fold there so that it's gonna sit up. And then this little flap here just comes through and sits there. So that is so easy. So we're going to decorate it. Um, now, you get the handbag um, handle and the front. So this is how I've cut this one out, so not to waste um, paper. So I've put that in the middle because that's going to be covered. And I've put jack paper on the roll um, underneath all of it. So it um, is just a sticker and you just need to peel them off. I've used this one, I've used a paper out of the Card Maker's Dream. So I'm just gonna put that Get that in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to put this little piece. Now, I've done something there that I shouldn't have, so I'm just gonna do that. You need to do the handle first because it sits under here. But that's okay, I can just lift that up. It's always good to do a mistake because then you know. I'm gonna put that in the middle. How to fix it if you do the same mistake. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that underneath. And then this one. didn't do that mistake on the first one but then I did it on the second one and thought I must remind people to put the handle on first so handle on first then this body and then we're going to do the flap beautiful so then I decided what was I going to do and at first I thought I would use the paper from a card maker's dream but then I thought what I had this serviette so this is a serviette that I had and I thought how groovy would it be if I use that so I'm just going to show you how I did that so I'll put a piece of jack paper down on here okay now with the serviettes make sure that they come with either two or three ply. That means two or three layers. So you need to be very careful that you make sure you just get the top layer. See this one, it's got three layers. Yeah, if you have trouble, just blow that little bit there, blow on there and they usually separate. So then what I did was I just lifted that up. And I put 
that down there like that. Now, when you'll see there, there's a few creases in that. And of course, there's this embossed pattern. Just snip that there. But when I actually ran it through in the die cutting machine, that was the same serviette and it flattened out those, those bits. So it actually flattened out all the creases and that that I had there for the serviette. So I'm actually going to use that. So after I'd done that and cut it out, I turned it over and I just put another piece of jack paper on there. So when this cut out, it's actually got the jack paper on the back. Yeah, so that's a serviette and that one's out of our um, leaves and patterns pack. So there's some lovely ones there. That one there would have gone, the middle one there would have gone really lovely with it too. But I just decided I wanted to do the gum leaves because it was similar to our own paper. Okay, so I'm going to get that in the centre, hopefully. And then this little one that decorates there. Now, so that's that like that. Sits like that. Now, you have this little sentiment one. And I'm just going to show you here how I cut that out. I'll just get it. So I've done the sentiment and the little um, round one to save paper again. So that's just like a little latch um, thing. So I'm just going to put that on first and like I said, be very careful with that little die because you don't want to lose it. I'm actually going to put it on a little bit of a magnet and put it inside my sheet. Now, what I did then was I folded it just so. Now this has a right and a wrong side. So make sure that you've got them perfect before you stamp on it, okay? before you know which way it's going to go. So I'm going to put it that way. I'm just going to close it. And just put it there like that so I know where it goes. Okay, so I'm just going to, with the others I inked around all the edges, I'm just going to ink around this white. Just so it's because it's the only white that I'm using, so it's not so stark. But you could ink around the serviette one as well if you wanted to. Okay, so then I'm going to stamp Happy Birthday, I think, with the Versafine Claire. Now I'm just going to put that under my foam, so it's got a bit of give. Make sure I've got it straight. Okay, don't think I had it that straight, but anyway. And I think I've got a little bit of ink on that Y left over from before, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to put that. I've already put jack paper on the back, as you will see. Just put that so it doesn't. Okay, and we're gonna put that. Beautiful. Okay, so then what I've got, I've got these little Velcro dots. So they are these little dots. You get 56 in the packet and it's only $5.99. Um, so they work out about 10 cents each for a pair. So I always put the fluffy side as if it's going down and this one on the one that needs to be stable. 
So all you do is put that there and then close it. And that's going to hold it there like that. So then for the inside, Oh, I've got a bit of ink on there, silly me. Okay, so Nicole had a really good idea, so I'm going to use her idea for the inside. So I'm going to put this insert first. Okay, so I've got my insert. I must have ink on my hands, I do. Oh well. Anyway, so then what I'm going to do, got our gift card holder die. Oh, I think I've cut out the wrong one. I have. I'll just quickly cut this out because I realised I've just cut out the wrong one. I'll just whip that in the machine. That was quick. Okay, so I'd actually cut out the note one, so I needed the little gift card one. So this is a little pocket, and I've just cut that out. I wanted it to be like this. So I'll just, all you do is you fold it like that, and then you just run piece of tape. Oh, where's the end of my tape? Okay, I'll just move that. So we're making the pocket up. So a piece of tape there. And a piece of tape there. Okay, so this makes a little pocket for you to put gift cards in okay so that's going to be the back so that's the front um, I've got a little gift card here somewhere I put with that where did I put it oh, I had a Suzanne sitting in one here oh here it is okay so that just fits in there like that Okay, so then you get these little sentiment things and I'm just going to put that on the front. So you can use any types of paper, any types of paper, any type of um, uh, embossing folders. I've used that. That one I've used an embossing folder on. I don't know whether you can see the embossing on it. Now that embossing folder is this heart one. And um, I'm actually giving that out with the set for people that um, choose regular postage and also spend over $50. Now, if um, the, because this is released on the 11th of June, 2022 if you're watching this in a year's time of course it's only while stocks last so I've got a hundred of those to give away now I'll just put the foam under that so it has a bit of give and I'll just be careful that I don't get ink on my hand again Okay, so that's a little gift card holder. We've had that out for a while. Some of you may have probably already got that one. And I'm gonna put that 
down there like that and then you can just put your gift card in it. This, um, this was actually Sharon's idea to bring this handbag one out. She um, loves doing things for females and pretty, pretty cards and things like that. So that was her idea. So it just sits in there like that. I can get the thing and then it just closes like that. Beautiful. So they're the three samples that I made. This one's with the embossing folder. That one's with our card maker's dream paper. And this one using a serviette, but very quick, very easy. And got that um, piece in there for you to write on, you write your message. And then they actually have that. So they actually sit up to display. So I hope you enjoyed that and um, have a great day. Bye.